Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I've just arrived. I've got my first fish. The tip pulled round. Admittedly, it wasn't secure like on a bank stick or anything. It was just lying on the ground. I thought I got a job. This is what it was. A very, very lively gudgeon indeed. The first fish that I ever caught, not this one in particular, of course, but from the canal where I am right now. And another small gudgeon about to go back right now. And there he goes. I've been catching gudgeon. I haven't shown them all to the camera, of course. The tip pulled round, it wasn't a gudgeon. This is a chub, I can tell that from the way that it's fighting, the way it pulled round. And hopefully I'll be netting this in a moment or two and I'll show you on camera. And here you go. It's not as big as you would have expected from the way the tip went and the way that it fought, but there you go still a nice fish nevertheless and I don't know if you can see inside the mouth there but it's absolutely full of bread so someone has been in this area today fishing bread or feeding the ducks and I've just caught one of my favorite fish not far behind the perch actually although when they get to the size of the fish that I'm about to show you now I'll tell you something they take some beating. And here it is, can you guess what it is? It's similar to a perch. It's a rough, and look at the size of that one. Although, having said that, I do catch them much bigger on this particular canal. It's a strong hold for them. Great little fish, aren't they? And this one, as with all the others, is going back right now. Let me show you my setup here. I've got a very cheap reel, it does the job. I've got a quiver tip rod, I always fish with this, it's got an isotope on the end. So if I do decide to fish into dark or I'm after chub or species that fish well into dark, then I'm already prepared. But for today I'm just going to fish up to dark. I've got six pound main line and a hook length, hook length and beyond actually, two and a half pound fluorocarbon. I've got a small flat lead there. That's three and a half grams, a tiny bead, five mil, a tiny shot, and a hook length of about four inches. I've got a size 18 Drennan Super Specialist hook. The important thing is, as I've said, these short sessions that I do, this is already made up. So I get down there, put the two pieces of the rod together, put a bait on, cast out, and away you go. And by the way, I'm fishing with red maggots. We're well into dusk now. This is a great camcorder, by the way. It picks up the light and it gives you that extra 20 minutes or so, whereas the previous one I had didn't. When you do the sort of filming that I do, it's important to get the right sort of gear. I'll tell you what, I'll write about this in the blog. I'll mention my camcorder in the written blog that goes with the video. Well, I'm watching the rod and a few moments or so ago, I was watching a nocturnal bat. So that's been my first bat of the year. I was on the phone to my wife and I said, I'm gonna cut the phone call short because there's a nocturnal bat just above me. I want to film it and you know what happened? As soon as I got to the camcorder, the bat disappeared. Anyway, I'm hopefully gonna get another fish for the camera just before the session ends. But I'll tell you what, out and about yourself, have a great one. Check out my videos on YouTube. Also check out the written blog as well. I've got a website, loads of stuff on there. Um, fishing, football, nature watch as well. I write a daily uh, sightings blog on there or a little, little piece on there of things that I've seen during the day. And of course the nocturnal bat will be on there from today. But it doesn't look actually as if I am going to end with a fish. So check out the website, search me on Facebook, check out the YouTube videos, and I'll be back next week. Tight lines.